Hi guys, this is Bruno from Morley Computer Sales and Repairs and we're going to be replacing the SSD on this machine. This is an, uh, an Asus UX325E and uh, it came with a 500 SSD and we're going to be replacing with a 1 terabyte. Right, so um, I'm going to have to pause the video at some point because I'm going to have to clone this one into the new one, but I'm going to open it up now take it out for now and then once I do the cloning then I'll continue the video putting the new one back. Okay, so let's check these screws first. Da, 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 da. So they have the special the special screws. So let's get this here and this here for the screws. Da, 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 da. So First, we need to find the right key. It's too small. Too small. Maybe this one. Here we go. Right, so let's start by taking these ones. So this one is a brand new machine. I just received it today. And this is for a customer, but they need a one terabyte. And at the price level, for ASUS, I couldn't find any that was with one terabyte, so I decided that it was better to get this one and get a one terabyte SSD and then just replace it. Okay, so we got these four screws out. There's another one here on top. And there might possibly be as well under this, but I'm gonna try to see if it will come out this way just for now. So far so good, the front is out, the back is going to be a bit harder because I can't really use this, so so far doesn't seem to have any screws, okay it might have a screw there then, so let's take this out very carefully. Here we go, there's one hidden there. So it's gonna be another one here as well. Let me just see if it's the same type of screws. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing, so that's all good. There's one screw that is bigger than the others, which is this one. Right, so this should come out just like that now. Here we go. Right, so. So our SSD is here. So I'm gonna have to take, let me see. There's this screw here. Take the adapter and that one there and might be possibly something here but we'll take it one step at a time. I'm gonna separate these ones just so I make sure I don't mix it with the other ones. They're all tiny. Okay. Here we go, nice and easy. So it will come out straight away. So I should be disconnecting the battery for this, uh, but I don't really like this type of adapter, so I'm just not gonna mess too much with it. I'm literally just gonna take the SSD out. For reference, you should always disconnect the battery before doing anything else, just like we're doing now, just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna clone this SSD into, this is a 500 SSD into this one that is one terabyte and uh, and then yeah, and then we're gonna be replacing it and then closing it back. So I'll continue the video in a minute. Okay, so I've just cloned the disk. So we're just gonna put the, the new SSD in. So I got the new SSD, took the other one out. So what we're gonna do is align it. There, it's aligned. It's aligned, it just goes in straight away. Make sure you push it all the way in until you actually feel that it went in and it should align with the screw there. So if you see the, the, the bit of the screw is kind of a bit, it's basically, uh, what am I doing? 
it's a low battery. Right, so this screw here, it, it basically the card just slots in just under that screw support. So we'll just close this back in. Make sure you align it because there's the there's some thermal paste there to keep it cool down. And then we're just gonna close it back in. Again, you should remove the battery, which is this cable, before you actually do anything, because it might cause a, a short circuit while you're doing this. Um, if you don't, just like I did, just be very careful and make sure that no metal parts touch the motherboard, because it can short it straight away. So just be very, very careful. Da, 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 da. So let's put this lid back. Go. Mm, doesn't really feel like it's going in properly. I think the front needs to go first. There we go. Yeah. So the front enters first and then the back. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, just to finish off, you just put the screws back. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so six screws back, you put the plastics back in and you're all done. But yeah, hope this helped you in any way. Um, if not, or if you have any questions, feel free to mention in the comments. But then again, this is not my machine, this is a customer machine, so I'll be holding it for a very short term. Uh, but if I know or if I notice something, uh, I can always get back to you anyhow. Um, don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.